That is the issue today. What we need to do better as a board of education is communicate on all issues, not just the hot button issues. For example, I've done a lot of research on other districts and their communication plans and methods. When we look at Kirtland City Schools or Painful City Schools, I invite you to go to their websites and look up their board of education's communication methods. Kirtland City Schools has a student learning achievement committee. It meets monthly. It meets the second week of the month. Do you know what meets the third week of the month? Their finance committee from their community. Do you know who meets the last week of the month? The school board. So these community committees come together and talk about issues. CRT and MAPS would fall in to student learning and development. And we can have community members come and have a voice, discuss it, maybe come up with new ideas and ways to approach these issues, and then propose them to the board so that more than five board members, a superintendent and treasurer, are trying to solve all the ills in the district. We are very large and complex. I believe in investing in all of the minds that are community, not just for students. We have a lot of able-bodied professionals who maybe have the silver bullet to help us better understand how to approach and solve issues. If we had these committees in place where they were open to the public and frequent and documented with minutes, we could track our progress, understand where we are, where the community is, and how to build on it for the future. These are some of the things that I would really love to see instituted for a board of education, whether I'm elected or not. Because ultimately, if people are looking to move into the Willoughby East Lake School District and, and really invest in their children's educational careers in us, we have to give them a reason to do so. And to do that, we have to provide an opportunity for their voice.